So instead, so this is what it would look like. One, two, three, four, five x-axis, and going up by six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been, you're saying that this is the point that would connect to make a rectangle, but that's wrong. You got tricked, you got tricked by that. Instead of this, it's supposed to be six x-axis, six across, so like, X is across like that, and Y is like, yeah. yeah, which is going up, so. <laughs> and um, so you're going six across, which mm. is the X axis, and then going up by five, so one, meeting up by five, so one, two, three, five. This is ah. six by five. So this should have been the right answer right here. Rectangle. <gasps> Same, I kept saying... I can't. Yeah! <laughs> I know, I'm like, what the heck? There's supposed to be a triangle plus three points, not four. And for this one, the probability of rolling a two or five, since there are four cor four sides on each, on this thing, it's talking about, I'm not going to try to say it, but since it's saying what is the probability of getting a two and five, it's supposed to be a 50% chance, or like one over half, because you're guessing, it's saying, how, what is the probability of getting a two or five? <laughs> and it's asking, <laughs> and it's asking, you're, <laughs> what's the probability of getting one of these two numbers? And those two, since they take up, so you're guessing two out of five, and those are two different numbers. So which means the probability is one over two. You got it? Mm -hmm. You know what? It's basically asking. What's the probability of getting one of these two numbers out of four sides? So, 50%. So, and for this one, I could see how you got mixed up on this one, right here. What is the probability of the arrow landing on number one? So, if you look, there are eight sides, there are eight pieces on this circle. So, if you were to put together those ones on one side, like right next to each other, it would be one fourth. So, if you go one fourth, more of us in that. Which one did you what else did you get wrong? Oh, I didn't have time for this. Oh, do so you know how though? Nope. Okay. They never I I didn't learn volume. What the hell? So no. volume is it I learned perimeter area per um, perimeter. Perimeter area and radian. Volume is basically length times width times height is equal. Blah blah blah. So wrong. Length. With their eyes. So, length times width times height. This thing is pretty basic in grading in 9, 10 half is equal to volume. So, it's already, this is actually pretty easy compared to what you do now. So, how many juice, let's just ignore that. Okay. So, how many juice boxes will fit in the shipping? I don't care, I'm going to show you. Oh. Did he explain like tenth width, tenth height? Perimeter, you need that. That's not mm -hmm. perimeter. Perimeter is the measurement outside, not yeah. inside. That's you not also perimeter. Need area, though. Okay, but you didn't learn volume, which is the 3D object. For example, take this. Radius. That's not the radius. The radius. Indian. This. But the volume is how much. Like, for example, how many of those rollers can fit in here? That is the volume, not area. Area is 2D, so like saying how like, many popsicle sticks can fit in mother's stomach? That's gross. What? She ate, like, three-fourths of the box. Yeah, but she didn't eat the popsicle sticks. She ate the popsicles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's... I hate perimeter. Okay, how do you don't cut? You hate perimeter? Yeah, I hate it. It's the easiest thing. Oh. Okay. We're taught how to do the three things like. <coughs> oh, that's stupid. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Let's. Let's. Should we go S? I haven't done this in so long. Yes. Okay, so B. Okay. I'm gonna make you know this. So, bed mass. Sleep. No. Sleep. 
Yeah. Okay, so B in bed mass stands for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did. We were told about, but we didn't actually take the time to learn. That's that. stupid. That's so and stupid. You need like to know that. Okay, so brackets. E, that's nice. And then E is for. She did not get taught bed mass, and then she was struck with a question that needed bed mass. That's so stupid. A T I O N S. Is this a test or something? Yes. Okay. No, She's this is done already. A T I O N. And then D stands for division. B. <laughs> we'll divide that. We went S T B. Nothing to do with this, okay? Too. Okay, so, and then there's M, which stands for, can you guess? Yes. Migration. Yeah. My, minus. What? No. No! Multiply. 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 Excuse me. That's stupid they didn't teach you that. Because we, even we were taught that in grade 7. Yeah, that's so stupid. Like, now, like the... Hey, 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 uh, Guess uh, what it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what? So the <laughs> Okay, I'll show you. What? Okay, so four times six times. Okay, since you go four times six. Okay, for when it comes to D or M, it can go bem mass, be be das. It can go bem das or bed mass. Okay, but that sounds better. So, um, you can either go divide or multiply first. So since it doesn't really matter, so you can go six times three. You're gonna ignore the others first. Yeah. Because, because you bed mass. The rules of bed mass. The because multiplying. it says so, okay? Oh, it has to go in that order? Yeah. yeah. Then what? Ah. See, so 6 times 3 equals 18. Okay. And then you're going to go and to divide. Eight. So 18 divided by 2. You're not oh, going to go divide by 3 because this is now done. So you can scratch that. So you can plus scratch two. that down. And that. Wait, you turn And Double this. Two. I'll make you write this out. Okay, so. That turns into 18 since you went 6 times 3. And so you go 18 divided by 2, which is 9. You're going to cross out that 2 now, and this turns into 9. This 18 no longer exists. Bed mass tattoos, like, I'll give you a sheet. I'll give you a sheet, you know? Okay, uh, so since that, since you divided by 18 by 9. Then rewrite the equation 2, Lenny. Rewrite the equation 2 while you go through it. Are you? Okay, you're going to write this down. I'm paying attention. Yeah, you're going to write this down. Okay. 4 plus 6 times 3. Divide by 2 minus 1. Mm. 2 minus 2. Okay. okay, 6 times 3. I right know. Write that down. The best way to is what I should just say is like, if you talk it out, now you write the 4. No, because you write the 4 as well on the bottom. Like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now go 4 plus 2. No! Okay! Write down the new square. Now you go divide by 2. What the heck is, what is that? What? No, it goes on the other side or else you'll confuse yeah, yourself. Yeah, right. Wow. Okay. What? So once you get the 18, once Dude. you get, once you get the 18, you're going to go 4 plus 18 because 18 is a product of 6 times 3. So then you're going to go divide by 2 minus 1. Now you're going to go on to the next one, which is 18 divided by 2. What you get? 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay, so then you're gonna go four plus nine minus one, and then you get it right there. You can go in whatever now, direction you want. There, there. From the here, you could go like nine plus four or nine mm -hmm. minus one. So nine plus four is thirteen. Well, minus one is equals twelve. So the answer is eight. That was nasty. I know it's so stupid. They don't teach us. To no, teach it's because me. each new teacher we got, they made us redo. What the hell? Section. And we are just about to get into algebra. High school, you will be taught bed mass again by the same you'll do with fractions and all that. It's really difficult. And then you're gonna learn how to graph those fractions I think and all that. Fraction. Oh, oh that's easy. Where was? So divide thirty by. No, just do. In class of thirty-six, oh. there are four. I didn't get what the x and the y. Okay, so this is algebra. Yeah, but they didn't and teach you. So yeah. this is. This it's a word problem, but in algebra. Okay, so it's form. gonna be thirty. Okay. 
So for this, it's obviously going to be 30 equals. So we're going to go 30 Teacher, equals. explain why it's that. It's 30 equals because there are 30 people in the student class. 30, 30 students in all. So then it says mm -hmm. there are four more boys than girls. Then there are girls. Okay, what? Okay, that's, so it's going to be, oh, this is so hard. I don't want to be a math teacher, but, um, <laughs> so. Four more boys than girls. How many boys Oh, that's girls? why they cross. Okay, so. Um, you're going to separate the, okay, so you're going to separate their two genders, boys and girls. So that's where what they What about non-binary? You know what? You can t deal with this. No. There are boys and there are girls. And so that's, you're going to put two X. That X stands for basically how many are genders? How many in all? How many? How many boys in all, including those four? Yeah. So since there, and then you're gonna go plus four because that equals how much more boys there are than there are girls. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be 30 equals two X well, plus one. That was nasty. That was nasty. It will explain more in like grade eight if they actually taught you this.